Okay. Is it going? All right. Hey, guys. Wish we were there with you guys, but we're all at home. Wish we could be in a classroom so that we could all share our stories. Um, but we're going to do phonics anyways. So, woohoo, phonics. Yeah. Um, guys, I'm going to need you guys to really listen for what I'm going to ask you to do, okay? We're going to start with our warm-ups, just like always. So listen to what we're going to do first, and then you're going to give it a go, okay? So I'm going to give you a word. Um, let's just use the word deep. I'm going to give you the word deep, and you guys are going to change the first sound, the first sound that you hear in the word jeep to make a word that rhymes with that word. So if I say the word is jeep, I'm going to think, hmm, what sound can I put in the beginning to make a new word that rhymes? So if my word is jeep, I'm going to change the j to the o sound. I'm going to change the j to the o sound. So my new word is leap. Jeep, leap. See? So I want you guys to take a minute and think, hmm, what word can I make by changing the first sound to the word read? What's your word? Read. That's right. So change the first sound and let's make a new rhyming word. Because remember, all rhyming words sound the same at the end. Okay? So your word is read. What's the word that rhymes? Awesome. Awesome. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's try another one. Your word is going to be need. What's your word? Need, like I need something. So let's change that first sound that we hear to make a new rhyming word. So our word is need. Ready? Go. Okay, cool. Awesome. Awesome. You guys are great. You guys are always good at rhyming anyways. So let's try... How about we try and do substituting? So we're going to take a sound, we're going to throw it away, we're going to grab a new sound, and we're going to make a new word, okay? So let's see. We're going to do hmm, the word seat. What's your word? Seat. And we're going to change the E sound. Throw it away. We don't need that anymore. We're going to take away the E sound. And we're going to put the E. Eh. We're going to get the E eh sound. What's our new word? Yeah, set. Good job, guys. The word is set. Let's try one more. Our word is ripe. What's our word? Ripe. Okay, we're going to get rid of the I sound. Everybody grab that I sound and throw it away. And we're going to put the I, the I sound. So what's our new word? Rip. Good job, guys. We're going to take away the er, I sound, throw it away, and we're going to put the I. R, I, P, rip. Good job, guys. All right, how about we try and do adding, okay? So we're gonna do adding. So we're gonna grab the word, hmm, we're gonna grab the word gab. Sure, we're gonna grab the word gab, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add the er sound. So let's add the er sound. What's my new word? Grab. That's right, we're gonna add the grab sound. We're gonna grab that er sound and we're gonna put it after our g to make our consonant blend. G, er, a, b, grab. Hmm, this time I'll tell you where to put it because I didn't tell you the first time, but you guys are super smart. So let me see, let's grab the word seize. What's the word? The word is seize. And we're gonna add the n sound after our s. So we're going to grab the n mm sound and put it after the s. So what's our new word? Sneeze. Yeah, that's right. S-n-e-z. Sneeze. Good job, guys. Let's try one more, and then we're going to move on to deleting, OK? So we're going to grab the word sip, like we're taking a drink. Sip. And we're going to add the o sound. So grab your o sound, and let's put that in there after the s. So we have sip, sip, and we're going to grab the o sound and put it right after our s. So what's our new word? Slip, s o i p, slip. Good job, guys. So let's do some deleting, and then we'll go ahead and move on to our actual lesson, okay? So we're going to do the word 
break. So this time, because we're doing deleting, we're only gonna take away a sound and get rid of it and see what we have left, okay? So our word is break. So b, er, a, k, break. Do it with me. B, er, a, k, break. We're gonna take away the er sound. Throw it away. What do we have left? Bake. Good job, guys. Bake. We're gonna take away the er, and so that gives us b, a, k, bake. Let's do one last one. Our word is stick. Stick. Okay, so segment it with me. St, i, k, stick. Now this time we're gonna take away the t sound. Throw it away. What do we have left? That's right, sick. That's what we have left, sick. Good job, guys. You guys are the best. Man, I really wish we were in a room together right now. That way I could hear all of your guys' awesome segmenting and awesome deleting and substituting. All right, my friends. Well, today we're gonna be working on a pattern that we've already done before. I don't know if you guys remember the goo monster, the big green goo blob, when we worked on it a while ago. Um, well, today we're gonna be practicing another sound that the goo monster makes. So let's look at these words. Okay, can you guys see those words? Yeah? Okay, so here we have cute, few, rescue, view, and huge. Now, what do we notice about these words? We notice that they all make the U sound. Here we have EW, that makes the OO sound. U, bossy E, makes the U sound. UE makes the U sound. They all make the U sound. So let's quickly sort these into, into E, U, U, bossy E, and U, E. So if we look at cute, I see my bossy E right here. It's going to bonk my U. So I'm gonna put cute right here. Still makes the oo sound, still makes the u sound, but I'm gonna put it in the bossy e. Now let's look here. I see my ew pattern. So I'm gonna put a few. Here, what pattern do we see? Am I gonna put it here, here, or here? That's right, I'm gonna put it right here because we have the ue pattern. So I'm gonna put rescue rescue right here. Now let's look at this next word. The word is view. Already I see I got my EW right there in the front. So I know that EW is going to go in this column. So I'm going to write view right there. My last word, what do we got? What do we got in this one? What do we notice about this word? Huge, huge. That's right. Here we got our bossy E. It's gonna come over, bonk our U. So it's gonna go here in the bossy, in the E bossy U. Sorry, U bossy E. It's how you can't even talk, not even like a computer, guys. This is gonna be fun. All right, so these all say the U sound, but they all use different patterns. So the pattern that we're gonna be focusing on today is gonna to be our E U pattern, our E U. Now E U is gonna make the U sound. What sound is it gonna make? the U sound, okay? So, my friends, we are gonna look at this guy and we see that we have a line right here. Can anybody tell me what does this mean? If I have a line right here, what does it tell us? What's the clue? Where am I gonna be using the EW pattern when I spell things? Good, we're gonna be using it at the end. This tells us that it does not go anywhere else except the end. Only at the end of our word are we going to be using the EU pattern. Sorry, the EW. It's a W, Ms. Hargi. Pay attention. Are you guys paying attention? Because I'm losing it over here. Here we go, guys. EW. Okay, we're going to be doing the EW pattern. So why don't we try segmenting, segmenting a few words? We're going to segment the word the root. We're gonna segment the word through, like I threw a ball. So everybody get your arms out, get ready to segment. Here we go. Ready, first sound. Through. One more time. 
r, u, through. That's right, through. How many sounds did that have? Three sounds, that's right. R, u, three sounds. Here we go. Let's segment the word mm, chew. Chew. Ready? From the top, first sound, go. Ch, u, chew. How many sounds did that have? That one only had two sounds. Ch, u, chew. Let's do hmm, one more. How about let's do the word, what did I just do? Can you think of the word that has E-W? That's right, let's do the word blue. Here we go, ready from the top, you guys go. Yeah, did you guys get that? Blue, b, o, u, blue. All right, here we go, guys. I hope you guys are doing fantastic at home and I really do miss you guys. So let's start writing a word, shall we? You're gonna need a piece of paper and a pencil. So I'm gonna give you guys a few seconds to get a piece of paper and a pencil. Probably should have told you guys that from the beginning, huh? So hurry, 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 hurry. Go get a piece of paper and a pencil because you're gonna need to do your writing. We don't have whiteboards, so we're gonna use piece of paper and pencil, okay? So go quick, 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 quick. All right, everybody has their whiteboards and their pencils. Okay, your first word that you are going to write is the word few. Ready, what's your word? Few, ready, from the top. Everybody segment the word few, go. You segment it. Okay, you guys have seven seconds to write it. Three, two, one, zero. Pencils down, pencils down. Did we write the word few correctly? What's the first sound we hear in the word few? What's the first sound, my friends? What is it? That's right, we hear the sound. And then we know that our pattern is U, and we're working with the pattern EW. So I hear you, few. So here I'm going to add EW. This, my friends, is the way the dictionary spells few. So if you got it like this, good job. If we didn't write it like this, we got to make sure that we're segmenting the right sounds, okay? So be careful to what sounds my mouth is making and how my mouth is making it, okay? So let's try another one. Let's try doing, ooh, this one's going to be a little bit harder, okay? We're going to do the word nephew. What's the word? Nephew. Okay, so everybody from the top, we're going to segment it so that we can hear all the sounds in the word nephew. Ready? From the top. Go. All right, you guys got seven seconds. Seven seconds. Ready? Awesome. Okay, guys, so let's see. What is the first sound I hear in nephew? My first sound I hear is mm, 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 eh, you. And I already know what pattern I'm working with that makes the you sound. So I'm gonna write that down. Hmm, now let me check my word. I have mm, eh, you. Nephew. So I have all of the right sounds. My sounds are all right. Hmm, that sounds like nephew, but I know I've seen this word before. I know I've seen this word before. So I know that the way the dictionary spells nephew, we haven't learned this pattern quite yet, but for those of you who have also seen the word nephew in the book or newspaper before, this is the way the dictionary spells nephew. The dictionary spells it n e P-H also makes the sound. N-E-F-U. So this is the way the dictionary spells nephew. So if you got it like this, awesome job, because that means you heard all of the sounds that nephew has. If you wrote it like this, awesomer job, because that means you know how the dictionary spells the word. So both of these would have been perfectly fine on your spelling test, guys. I told you it was going to be a little bit trickier. All right, let's do our last word, okay? Our last word, let's see. 
it's gonna be curfew. What's the word? Curfew, curfew. Okay, so everybody from the top, let's segment it. All right, here we go. You're gonna have seven seconds. Go ahead, get your pencils. Let's go, seven seconds. Okay, pencils down, pencils down, and let's see if we spelled curfew right. So what is the first sound I hear in curfew? Let me see, k, I hear the k sound, but I know that there's two ways to make the k sound. So I'm gonna write it both ways because I'm not sure which way the dictionary is gonna spell it. So I wanna be safe and I'm gonna write it both ways. So I know that the k makes the k sound and the c makes the k sound. Let's see, the word was curfew. So, k, er, er, k, er, few. Now, I remember birdie the bird makes the er sound. So, hmm. Now, there's three ways to make the er sound. I can make it e r, u r, and I can also make it i r. Okay, so now I added another way because again, I don't know how the dictionary is spelling it yet. I have to look at them and see which one looks right. So let's keep segmenting. K, er, f, 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 f. Okay, so I know what makes that sound. F, you, k, er, f, you, you. So I know here's my spelling pattern. I hear the U sound, so I know it's gonna end with my EW. Hmm. Now I got to look at these and think, how have I seen this in a book, in a dictionary, in a newspaper, on TV? How have I seen this before? And the way the dictionary spells curfew, all of these, again, my friends, would have been the right sounds. All of these would have been okay on your spelling test. But the way the dictionary spells curfew is like this. So yay, good job my friends. If you guys spelled curfew any of these ways, good job like this. If you spelt it, you spelt it the way the dictionary does it. So excellent job my friends. Guys, I really miss you all. I hope you guys are all being safe. Um, we'll review the EW pattern tomorrow very briefly before we get into our new spelling pattern. Just remember my friends, the EW makes the ooh sound and it only, only goes at the end of the word it doesn't go in the middle and it doesn't go in the beginning okay it only only goes at the end unless my friends our favorite thing unless it has a you guessed it suffix if it has a suffix then it can go in the middle but if it does not have a suffix it's always always at the end okay so i hope you guys are all having fun i hope you guys watch this video and stay tuned tomorrow We'll briefly review the EW and we'll learn a new spelling pattern, okay? Stay safe, guys.